Alrighty, y'all. What's up? Welcome back to the show. We're looking at top 10 American foods that are banned in Europe, other countries, etc. cetera. Uh, first up, Little Debbie is showing. I don't know if this is on the list officially. Uh, Swiss cake rolls. These I haven't had in a long time, but uh, I had these every once in a while when I was a kid. They were really, really yummy. That would suck. Those were banned. They're, they're just, they're good. Anywho, this is a video that will be linked in the description down below so you can watch the whole thing uninterrupted and browse the channel, that channel being Watch Mojo. And this was suggested to me by uh, TylerRot34 on Instagram, so thank you for that suggestion, guys. Here we go. All right. Looking at food and drinks that originated in- I've done a video like this almost, like, actually, I think, like, literally a year ago. Uh, so I would like to see, you know, how this list differs in a way, right? Because I'm- Sure, the other list didn't cover it all. That makes United sense. United States, that certain <laughs> countries won't allow. Could you not live without any of these foods? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Arby's Baked Goods. This fast food chain is Arby's famous for their roast goods. beef, but that's not all they have. Arby's is a master I haven't been to Arby's in a long, 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 long time. Colorful. Stop by for Arby's breakfast, and you can have sourdough breakfast sandwiches, French toast sticks, and croissant. Well, not... You know, oh my God, this is funny to say as an American... Um, I actually did not even know that Arby's had a breakfast menu. <laughs> I literally did not know if that. You live in Europe. Arby's uses azodicarbonamide, an ingredient used for whitening bread, which Europe has outlawed. Mm. There are indications that this chemical, used by many other fast food chains as well, could trigger asthma attacks, and there have been calls wow. for it to be banned in the U.S. Arby's might have the meats, but in Europe, there are some things they don't have. I'm so hungry I could eat at Arby's. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Stove top stuffing. Making Thanksgiving dinner on a tight budget and short notice? Stove top uh, stuffing can seem like a lifesaver. Your mom? Yeah, I suppose this could work in scenarios. I, this me that's something we, I, we didn't have in my house and we still don't have now in my own house now. Stove top? Yeah, I have like no potatoes. experience However, with you that might actually. Be changing your tune when you learn what exactly is in this mix. Did, I never, I never, I never dealt with stuffing. Never liked it. I AJ guess. I and know. BHT, two chemicals that may cause cancer as well as issues with blood clotting. And those aren't the only two potential health issues. A single serving of stovetop stuffing reportedly contains nearly 30% of a person's daily sodium intake. Wow. Japan, the United Kingdom, and various other European countries have banned this product. Don't ask for seconds of this stuffing, or even. Dang, I'm glad I never indulged in that. <laughs> I don't think I can move. That You're sounds both? pretty bad. Yeah, Number eight, Betty Yikes. Crocker Fudge Brownie Mix. Betty, your brownies drive me crazy. Fudge brownies. Brownie mix makes it easy to whip up a Now, what's wrong with these other than, time. But like, you... this This is obvious. Like, this is not something you have often, right? This is something once in a blue moon. Oh, I want, like, a, you know, uh, a dessert, right? I want a chocolatey dessert. Might not be so pleased to learn what's in Betty Crocker Fudge Brownie Mix. Oh, it man. contains partially hydrogenated soybean oil and cottonseed oil, both of which are, are kinds of trans fats, though the latter status is an area of some dispute. While the Food and Drug Administration banned the inclusion of artificial trans fats in new food products in 2018, some pre-existing products still contain them. Mm. These trans fats mean that the mix is banned in Austria, Hungary, Iceland, Norway, Switzerland, and Denmark, among other countries. Right. Who knew satisfying a sweet tooth could come at such a cost? Yeah. It's annoying when it has stuff that just should be banned everywhere, right? It's like, why seven, is that in there? Ritz crackers. Like, what are we gaining here? When you think here? of unhealthy snacks, Ritz crackers probably aren't at the top of your list. Hmm, this is a little shocking. Yeah, I, I wouldn't call these a health food. Of course not, but I wouldn't call these like a horrible food either. I feel like these are better snacks and like, if you're, if you're gonna snack on something that's not natural, <laughs> like I feel like these are an okay option compared to some other options. With crispiness of Ritz meets the bold taste of cheese. They're but so we'll light. see. It's easy to eat a whole sleeve of them without feeling stuffed. However, these popular crackers also include partially hydrogenated cottonseed oil, meaning they're banned in the same countries as oh, the Betty Crocker brownie mix. Gotcha. Hopefully, Nabisco can one day update the Ritz crackers formula to maintain the same great taste without using this supposedly troublesome ingredient. Off-brand Ritz cracker, salt pile, nothing in a blanket. Looking to avoid inflammation and keep your cholesterol in check? Then you're better off putting off the Ritz for now. Number six, Pop-Tarts. Pop-Tarts make for oh, a yeah. and tasty breakfast. I will say, Pop-Tarts, again, as a kid, I had them here and there. Uh, they were really good. And as an adult, like, pretty quickly, like, by the time I was a teenager, I pretty much stopped the Pop-Tarts. Uh, now as an adult, literally only a couple times in, like, years and years, 
I've tried them and I, they don't do well with me. I, I don't feel the best when I eat these. So I, I do avoid the Pop-Tarts. But they decidedly but they're yummy. the healthiest option. You know, oh, if you were to try them, they're yummy. Pull that nice, warm, gooey, real fruit filling. These toaster pastries contain yellow 5, yellow 6, and red 40, three yeah, food dyes bad. that have been banned completely in Austria and Norway. Yeah, we actually actively avoid those food dyes as much as we can when we buy uh, groceries and stuff in this house. Yeah, red, 40, yellow, 5. Uh, did I get that right? The European All those, Union, those are bad. containing these additives are banned in food meant for infants. Yeah. When not banned, products containing them often must include a label, warning about their potential negative effects on children. Don't worry, I gave them a Pop-Tart. The healthy kind, strawberry frosted. Bart, that Pop-Tart wasn't locally farmed or sourced. <laughs> these dyes have also been potentially linked to cancer. The healthy kind. We know well. breakfast is important, but a healthy breakfast is even more important. Number five, Frosted Flakes, Honey Bunches of Oats, and Rice Krispies. Yeah, if you're I don't moving deal with to Europe from either. America, shopping for breakfast foods might give you a bit of a... A lot of these, I guess, are kind of predictable. Because a lot of these are foods I avoid because they don't, like, I don't feel good when I eat them. <laughs> So uh, I guess I've came to that realization, which is good. To idiots? Some people don't, you know. Like some people just keep eating this crap, and uh, it's it's just not good. Like a lot of the cereals, it's just like sugar in a box, and uh, it doesn't really make sense that that would be a breakfast food, right? You know what happened to good old like toast or eggs? Popular cereal brands, uh, potatoes, you know, something like that. Frosted flakes, honey just, bunches of oats, and Rice Krispies I don't are know. banned by Japan Make and a breakfast the European bowl, you know? Union. Why? They contain BHT, a preservative that some fear is cancer-causing. Yeah. Like, okay. Although there's no definitive proof of the dangers of BHT, cereal manufacturer General Mills has taken it out of their cereals. Hear that? It's Snap and Pop. And Crackle? Kellogg, who produces Frosted Flakes and Rice Krispies, says they have no immediate plans to remove BHT from their cereals. Hmm. But if the public demands it, they may decide to Snap, Crackle, and stop. No. Oh, it's so weird about these. It's like, so the other company removed them, and I'm sure their cereals are just, you know, uh, appear to be the same thing to the customer. Why would you keep it in there? Like, what is the point? What's the origin, right? Like, what's the point of it being in there if it's just bad and doesn't provide, like, some necessary function for the cereal? Like, what's the point, right? It's It's... Actually frustrating when you find out about some of these bad ingredients in food, especially over here in the U.S. Why the hell is it in there? <laughs> Other companies around the world are making products that don't have that in there. Why is it in there? Clearly, it's not important to the product. It's only in there. It almost seems like to, like, be more unhealthy. Like, it's so, it's super weird. It's super weird. It, it's that's the way it looks to me. Another Damn, popular cracker these? that's banned in parts abroad, Wheat Thins might seem healthy based on their name, but their ingredient makeup is a little dicey. What's it go with? Cheese? Yes. Hummus? Sure. A discarded strip of truck tire? It can handle it. <laughs> like Ritz, Wheat wow. Thins are manufactured by Nabisco. <laughs> and like stovetop stuffing in the aforementioned cereals, they contain BHT, meaning you can't find them in Japan or in certain parts of Europe. How will he bite Wheat Thins? How? Despite their name suggesting otherwise, Wheat Thins are a particularly calorie-dense snack, and they're also wow. high in sodium. Can I, I have didn't some know wheat that. Thins? What? Can I, I don't, have some Wheat Thins? They're Wheat Thins. I don't actually have said, those. They might satisfy a hmm. short-term craving, but in the long run, you may want to monitor how big of a role Wheat Thins play in your diet. Number three, farm-raised salmon. Eating salmon can provide numerous nutrients, such as protein, vitamin B, and potassium. It may also help to prevent heart disease. However, you might want to opt for wild-caught salmon rather than farm-raised. Why is there wild salmon, not farm-raised salmon, but wild salmon on the menu, but no red meat? In order for farm-raised salmon to achieve its reddish look, they're fed artificial yeah, astaxanthin. Yeah, that one. This might that make one's the been fish look list. appealing, but the chemicals involved... When I see pictures of salmon from other countries, it just looks, uh, it looks great because it looks natural. <laughs> like, I don't know what the whole fake coloring is about, like... Don't they realize, like, natural food looks so much more appealing, right? I would just love to have some nice, high-quality salmon from other countries, you know? That would be great. It is it is pretty weird seeing Balls a lot of the American salmon. Including possibly all, like, causing super hot pink color. Like Something wrong with salmon? They need the gorchitsa. Gorchitsa? Uh, and uh, moose tort. Moose tort? Therefore, farm-raised salmon is outlawed in Australia and New Zealand. Not sure if the salmon you're purchasing is farm-raised. 
If the label says Atlantic salmon, it's probably from a farm. I don't recommend wow. salmon. I saw it in the kitchen. Uh. Number two, dairy with synthetic hormones. Open your fridge and you're likely to find all kinds of dairy products, from milk to yogurt to cheese. Tim, oh my God. These I actually remember that commercial. Wow. That's at least 20 years dairy old. Dairy products frequently contain Maybe RBST older. or RBGH, synthetic hormones that are allowed by the FDA, but banned in Europe, Canada, and Japan. Yeah. Given to cows, these hormones are tied to colon, prostate, and breast cancer. Milk was a bad choice. And if you're concerned about animal rights, they're also linked to infertility and infected udders in cows. Have you been fighting crime? Yeah. Don't fight crime. What do you fight? The dairy industry here is Weak bones. definitely With sketchy. With this information, for it's sure. not surprising to see people ditching dairy milk for plant-based varieties. Yeah. Got milk? Yes. It's but funny when you go not. to the stores. Actually, like these, um, like the almond milks, oat milks, coconut milk. Uh, it is actually sometimes off the shelf. Like you go. And uh, sometimes it's totally wiped out. It is that popular, um, which I never see that for regular milk. So but certain kinds. I think that alternatives are selling strong. through no, the no roof here. Number one, Skittles. Wanna taste the Skittles. rainbow? Skittles. Well, not in Austria and Norway. <laughs> <laughs> That's because Skittles, one of America's most popular candies, is banned for containing the same food dyes as Pop Tarts. Of course, we didn't oh, expect yeah. those bright colors to be a natural phenomenon. No. And if this has given you second thoughts about visiting these countries, we have some good news. In 2020, Mars announced they will remove artificial dyes from their human food products like Skittles and M&Ms. However, this isn't an immediate change, as it will reportedly take roughly five years for this transition to take place. Hopefully, the Skittles will be just as sweet and delicious as before. Oh, and... Oh, I, I hope they would. Yeah, it's good that they're... You know, getting rid of the artificial stuff. By the way, just Little sense. Debbie Swiss Rolls and Gatorade also contain problematic dyes. Just saying. What's the one with the swirling chocolate in the commercial? <laughs> they all have swirling chocolate in the commercial. Not Skittles. Do you agree with our picks? <laughs> well, what did you think of that list? Uh, I mean, kind of predictable. There were a couple new ones on there that I haven't seen on other lists. Uh, like the Ritz was a little bit of a shock to me. That's kind of alarming. Uh, as well as the Wheat Thins. Now, I don't really have Wheat Thins, these things. Uh, the Wheat Thins, that's another shocker. I wouldn't have expected to see that one on there. Uh, though, I don't really have much experience with those. I think I've had them before, like at some point in my life, but I, I definitely don't eat them on a regular basis. The Fudge Brownies, I mean, that one makes sense for a lot of reasons, I guess. Like that's something you just should not have often. I feel like if you indulge in some Fudge Brownies, like... <laughs> I don't know, like once every few months or something. I, I'm sure it's not a big deal. Uh, you got to remember also, uh, as much as these videos like to point out how bad things are, uh, I feel like, though I don't condone like the bad things being purposely put in there, I think that's really careless and stupid of companies here in the U.S. Uh, I do want to say that, you know, as long as these things aren't, you know, being consumed all the time, I feel like they're not going to affect you, right? If I have these, if I have this fudge brownie mix twice a year, is this really going to kill me? Like, I don't think so, right? So let's uh, throw that out there as well. <laughs> uh, Skittles, that's a tough one. I don't have those personally. Uh, I like the taste of them. I just don't have them because they're, 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 they're texture, right? They're really like hard and chewy. So I feel like they're a little rough on the teeth. Uh, I, I don't like things that I feel like are ruining my teeth at the moment <laughs> but yeah i guess for me a lot of these i really just don't mess with so gotta stay vigilant and, and a lot of these foods i tend to avoid so i guess i'm i'm doing all right Haley and i and maybe some others i'm not sure uh we're gonna do a tri test video really really soon and so uh, look for that on the channel of the opposite of this of tons of like i guess not so much candy but like chocolate and and products associated with that uh, from the EU, from various parts of Europe as well. So it should be pretty interesting, I think. And uh, I want to see how they taste and maybe try and compare some ingredients uh, to like a couple, you know, uh, famous American chocolate type snacks and uh, see how they compare and see how they taste and stuff. A uh, lot of different countries going to be represented. So I uh, look forward to that. I, I am looking forward to it. I think it'll be pretty fun. Throw a like on there if you enjoyed this. Uh, subscribe to be part of this amazing community we do have here. Keep up these amazing suggestions. Uh, my name is Ian. You're watching IW Rocker. And until next time, y'all, I'll catch you later.